Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. I say yet another, even though it's, again, been a super long time since I last did a proper FNAF news video, and even this one is only talking about games in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. But don't worry, I've slowly been gathering a bunch of FNAF news that I've missed, and I will be making a proper news video very soon, so subscribe so you stay up to date with everything that's going on in the FNAF universe. But like I just mentioned, today's video is all about select games in the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. We got news on Pop Goes Evergreen, Pop Goes Arcade, and the Egg Collection for One Night at Flumpty's, which includes Flumpty's 3. So hit the like button if you guys are excited, and let's pop it off with Pop Goes Evergreen. So like I mentioned, it has been quite a long time since I last did a news video. So for this one, we're going back to August. Because Kane previously had released some wallpapers based off of some of the characters in Pop Goes Evergreen, but then he went in and added some extra detail and giving them basically a full-on upgrade. So here are three revamped wallpapers for Pop Goes the Weasel, Stone the Crow, and also Black Rabbit. I don't think we've seen Black Rabbit yet, so this is a very interesting teaser. And if you do want to use those wallpapers, again, everything's linked down below as always. On the final day of August, the 31st, we got some Pop Goes Evergreen promo art. It was made by Kai, and it's a very terrifying looking Pop Goes standing in front of a Have Fun and Be safe poster. September the 6th, Kane tweeted out another room finished for Evergreen. That's 7 down out of 11 needed for the pizzeria. I'll reveal another room when we finished one more. One room revealed for every two we finish. So far, it seems like they haven't finished another room, so we're still waiting on a look at that brand new room. And speaking of room, we've kind of been blasting through Pop Goes Evergreen because I really want to talk about Flumpties and Arcade because those are, in my opinion, a lot more interesting news for the video. Video, alongside all the reveals for Sarah during Daco's charity livestream, which if you missed it, I did do a video about, it'll be linked down below. Something I didn't mention in that video is the party room, which as Kane states in a devlog on the Game Jewel page, the background of Daco's special demo includes a very blurred, flickering preview of the party room. This room is finished, but we won't be revealing it properly until we've modeled another room. So apparently the party room is the room that Kane was talking about in that tweet we just looked over. I decided to use the room for Darko's present specifically because its core color is cyan, which is the color of Sarah's eyes. Continue being patient and you'll see the full party room soon enough. So hopefully pretty soon we can get a look at the party room. I know right now Kane is unfortunately very ill. So hopefully Kane can feel better pretty soon if you guys do want to go show him some love. Again, his Twitter is going to be linked down below. Go wish him the best. And then moving on to Pop Goes Arcade, which is a game that is technically in the fanverse. In fact, it received its free fanverse update not too long ago, which at some point I I will get around to playing, but right now I gotta play catch up with all the news. After announcing in a Game Jolt post, which we took a look at previously, Kane made a tweet on September 11th saying, All right, my BMC Discord server has play tested the new version of Pop Goes Arcade, the free update, not the premium edition, and it looks ready. We'll be releasing it tomorrow with the devlog listing the changes and some brand new promotional artwork for it as well. To clarify some things, the Dead Forest is the name of the in universe arcade game that you play in Pop Goes arcade. This isn't new. And number two, this update adds new features, improvements, and bug fixes, but no real new content to play. And then the next day came, and Kane ran into a few issues with the game. Going to delay the PA update until tomorrow, we ran into some, uh, issues. And then finally, the next day, the free fanverse update for Pop Goes Arcade came out, with some fantastic promotional material. Pop Goes Arcade 1.2.0 is now available to download. This is an update for for the normal, free version of the game, it includes quality of life improvements, new features, and bug fixes. It does not include new playable content. We worked on this in preparation for the upcoming Paid For Premium expansion. As part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, we'll get on with programming that soon. And then Kane lists a bunch of new features, optimizations, and cosmetics, as well as some bug fixes and also fixed issues on release. If you want to take a closer look at that, again, devlog link down below or I'll probably flash them up on screen, just quickly pause the video. A day later, Kane made another tweet saying, you guys got Evergreen's page to 13k followers before the 18th, which was Daco's stream, easily. So I'll reveal Sarah stuff then. But 
can you get it to 14k before the 26th? If you do, then I'll reveal the name and the new promo poster for Pop Goes Arcade's expansion. It'll still be a while before the expansion is ready, but I see no harm in teasing it a little bit. Now, unfortunately, that goal was not met. Thankfully, however, Kane did make a compromise. Okay, this is definitely not happening, but I think it's too harsh to just forget about it. Whenever Evergreen's page hits 14k followers, I'll reveal the name, poster, and a song from Pop Goes Arcade's expansion, No Deadline. As of right now, the follower count for Pop Goes Evergreen is at 13.7 thousand. So if you're not following the page already, again, go follow it, link down below. And finally, we reached what is, in my opinion, the juiciest part of this video, One Night at Flumpty's The Egg Collection and also Flumpty's 3. Recently, we've gotten a lot of info about Flumpty's from Click Team and also Jonachrome, so let's not waste any more time and let's hop into it. On September the 10th, Jonachrome tweeted out, I certainly plan to acknowledge One Night at Flumpty's 3 when it finally comes out. I'm so proud of it and I would love to see people play it. The best part is, a certain generous fellow has rescued the game from Limbo and it's now finally Finally on its way to you, everyone say thank you, Fiznom. If you guys don't know, Fiznom basically went out and saved the entirety of One Night at Flumpty's 3 after Jonochrome basically left the entire FNAF fandom. Like John said, the game was in a limbo state, nothing was happening until Phil reached out and basically saved the entire game. And then we got an update from Kane, he says Jonochrome reveals in his Discord server that the PC version of Flumpty's 3 might actually release before the ports are ready now. He's also said that he is currently re-recording footage for the game's trailer. Release of the game may be imminent. And this tweet was made on the 16th of September. And then Jonachrome clarified in a tweet saying Flumpty's 3's release date is still up in the air, but for the record, my long ago proposition of a simultaneous release across all platforms is out of the window. PC and mobile will come first. Since it turns out the process necessary to release console ports is disproportionately longer. So it seems that mobile and PC are going to release first for Flumpty's 3 and then console ports a bit later on. On the 22nd of September, Jonachrome also tweeted, Just as a heads up, I'm unlikely to have anything else Flumpty related to post until the trailer releases, which won't be this month. I wish the game was out a year ago, but eh, this is the timeline we live in. So further clarifying, the trailer is being worked on and it's also coming relatively soon. Since he said it wasn't coming that month and that tweet was in September, hopefully we should be getting pretty close to the release of the trailer. And then the 28th of September came and Click Team uploaded a video titled The Egg Collection Menu Footage, which is footage of the main menu for the Egg Collection for consoles. So it seems that when Flumpties gets ported to consoles, they'll all release at one time under one application the egg collection. And let me just say the egg collection looks amazing already. It looks like you can easily switch between One Night at Flumpty's 1, 2, and 3. The controls look very simple, adjusting the volume, pressing play, all that good stuff. It also looks like Phil added some rare screens whenever you boot up the game. And also later on in the video we get a look at One Night at Flumpty's 3. We get a drawing of Flumpty, Golden Flumpty, and also the Red Man in what is later confirmed to be the One Night at Flumpty's 3 office. It's a little difficult to make out the office, but it looks like there's a gigantic hallway in front of us, much like Flumpty's 2, and also a lot of decorations lining the wall. We got a few more tweets to talk about, but that is the first look at the egg collection and also one night at Flumpty's 3 and its office. Just the thought that we're getting this close to Flumpty's 3 in its trailer is kind of crazy. The same day that that video came out, Jonachrome made a tweet saying, frankly, it's scary not having full control over what gets revealed about Flumpty's 3 and when. I don't know when Click Team uploads videos or when Kane Carter hypes and teases details on Flumpty's 3 that I'd rather keep under wraps. I thought the console menu would go public months from now. He also made a clarifying reply saying, public apology, Kane hasn't teased any details about Flumpty's 3 that weren't already public knowledge. Sorry, Pop Goes, I received false information. Kane replying with, I shat myself. Just thought that was funny to point out. <laughs> Phil, who again basically developed the entirety of the egg collection for consoles, replied saying, thankfully, since the work on the console package is more or less done, there should be no reason to do any more progress updates on it, and especially Flumpty's 3. That game is ace, but I think people should go into it as blind as possible so they don't have huge expectations for it. John replying saying, true, true. There's already more out there in the open than I wish there was, but I'll be content if the only new 
reveal between now and the release is the trailer I made. John also made another tweet that day saying to slightly make up for my error of today, I'll share that if you look closely at the One Night at Flumpty's 3 office footage, there's a Riddle School cameo, Riddle Transfer to be specific, and I'll let you guys look and explore to find that easter egg. And the final news topic we have today is the general release date for Flumpty's 3 and kind of what happened with it. On September the 30th, John made a tweet saying, coming clean with a lie I told. Flumpty's 3 really did take three months to make, but I finished it in April of 2020, before it was announced. Keep in mind that Scott announced the Fazbear Initiative in August of 2020, and developers were probably contacted a couple months before all of this happened. It was my own decision to make it sound like I had just started working on it to give Click Team leeway on the ports, but it's been over a year year or so. I should add, it's my own fault that the PC version isn't out yet. I misinterpreted the fanverse agreement for a long time, but now a simultaneous release date for PC and mobile is basically all but confirmed. It mostly depends on how fast app stores approve the mobile version. There you go, Flumpty's Theory has been finished for nearly, I mean, what, a year and a half at this point? And now we're just kind of waiting on the mobile ports and also a trailer coming, again, hopefully very soon at this point. And that is all the fanverse news I have for you guys today. Again, I got a whole bunch of news I gotta catch up on, I know. So, uh, I should probably go do that, shouldn't I? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. We're rocking and rolling, our friends are all here. Got our ice cream sundaes and blow, ho, ho. We're diving into pizzas and burgers.